Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Joining me as always is my co-host from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Rebellious D. D, how is it going today, my friend? It is uh, it's going swell, my brother. That's good to hear. Hey, how guys, are you? today. I'm doing awesome, man, and I am ready to get into this review. We are reviewing Day Shift, which just came out starring Jamie Foxx, Snoop Dogg, and Dave Franco. And uh, before we get mm -hmm. into today's review, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And D, like you say every time. As always, podcast episodes found in the description. Like, follow, subscribe to the channel. And thank you all for watching and listening. True, that's true. So yeah, let's go yeah. ahead and get into this review. So, like I said, Day Shift, it just came out recently. It's a vampire movie. Yep. And man, this movie was fun from beginning to end. I, I want to say, man, it's been a long time since I've seen a movie with Jamie Foxx in it. Um, I can't think of the last time that I've seen him in a movie. Oh, or, you know, I say a long time. Um, he, of course, he was in, you know, the Spider-Man movies. But I feel like it's been a long time where he's been a main character. And I know he's been in movies. You know, yeah. over the years and whatnot. It's just, I like Jamie Foxx, but he's not somebody that, like, I'll go out of my way to watch one of his movies. Now, when I was younger, you know, I loved Jamie Foxx. But it's just like, as I got older, I want to say, like, he wasn't really doing a lot more movies. He was, you mm -hmm. know, doing music and stuff. and For sure. You know, so, I mean, but no, this movie was awesome. Like I said, like, that first fight in the beginning of the movie with the old lady, she's like, where's Michael oh, That sequence was... Huh? That sequence was sick. Yeah, man. That whole fight was sweet. Yeah. Like, all of the action scenes in this movie were awesome. I thought that yes. they did a really good job, especially when they went to the house and the Nazarian brothers showed up. They was just like, mm -hmm. hey, you know, let's work together. And it's a good thing they did work together because if they didn't work together, then they would have, like, if, if, if Jamie Foxx was character Bud, if Bud and Seth would have went in there, they would have died. Then oh, yeah, no question. If the Nazarian brothers would have went in there, I think, you know, they would have died too, but they would have made it further than Bud and Seth. But, yeah. man, my man, Seth, D, uh, I'll let you take it away, bro. Look, good movie. Um, Huge fan of the choreographics in this. Uh, It was just well done. I don't I don't know. It was just a fun, a light, fun vampire movie. You know what I'm saying? In the dead of summer. Um, it went over better than I expected it to, to be honest. I wasn't sure what to expect out of a title like this, but it was enjoyable. I liked their, their take on vampires, how they were like subspecies yeah. and things like that. They, they gave, they give you a little bit of detail into that. And I, I just think it was cool. So, um, if they choose to expand on the universe and do something else with it, I think it would be fun. Yeah. Um, they, yeah. they, they definitely got to do uh, a sequel, man, especially with the way that it ended. It's yeah. just, it's funny, man, because it's like, you think that uh, Snoop Dogg's character dies and it's just like, nope. It's like, he climbs out of the manhole and, huh? and he walk down the like, street. Yeah, he just walks down the street. And so now it just makes me think because you had the different types of vampires in the movie. Cause like, you know, Seth, he ends up becoming a vampire. And then you have, um, uh, Heather, Heather, who, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just like, she's a vampire <laughs> that is just like, I don't want to be like vampires. I'm just trying to, you know, live my life and whatnot. And, yeah. you know, maybe the same thing can happen with, uh, with John, you know, maybe he, he'll be a vampire and he'll still be a vampire hunter because we end up finding out in the movie. It's just like, there are it's like a vampire sunscreen so that way that they can go yes. out in the sun you know mm -hmm. so i just i just think it's interesting like you said d to piggyback that like there were different classes of vampires yes. and yep. also when they was just like well you have these vampires from mexico then you have these vampires from europe and mm -hmm. i i thought that it was it was crazy it's just like they the vampires are about to take over and you know while i was watching that i was kind of getting blade vibes too what about you um from time to time, I like some of the little gadgets that they had. Obviously, Bud had his lucky rope, if you will. Bro, that rope was nice. Uh, hey, yeah, it, it was works pretty every sweet. time. Uh -huh. Sweet touch. Um, I just like the subspecies of vampires, and it was just a fun take on vampires. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't um, it wasn't necessarily a John Carpenter's vampire, but uh, it was it was a pretty good movie. You know, it was like a lighter, fun version of blade if you will yeah yeah it was just it was just fun you know what i'm saying sad to see uh my man seth got taken out but you know what i'm saying yeah he came, man, back. he came back it was just funny man it's just like the first mission 
It's like he peed his pants. Then the uh-huh. second mission, he peed his pants again. Yeah. I was just like, come on, Seth. I, I like how during the second mission, he had like the vampire collar on. So that way, uh-huh. like it would protect his neck. But I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like vampires aren't dumb. Like all they got to do is just rip it off. <laughs> yeah. But they can yeah, still go for his strong. neck. Yeah. I thought it was, um, I just thought it was interesting too. Oh, shout out to to uh, Megan Good. Yeah, Megan Good. Her yeah, I haven't seen ass. her. Yeah, I haven't seen her. She's single now. I'm about to slide in the DM. Oh, hey, take it easy, hero. Good lord. But um, I don't know, man. I hope they do something else with it. Fun title. That's all I got. Yeah, I feel like I the, know you know, the main villain. Uh, you know, she's sweet too. Yo, know, like when she. Because it's just like we find out that the va- the old vampire that Bud ends up killing is Audrey's daughter. And the reason why she was old was because Audrey had already left the country. She had became a vampire. Yeah. And when she came back, her daughter was already old. And um Does it make you wonder what she had been doing that whole time? I she was probably building her empire. That's the only yeah. thing I can think of. Because it's I mean, like her daughter was like really old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that's at least if she was her daughter and she left and came back. Then her daughter, what? She was like a preteen or even I, younger? It's yeah, a long I think time. They said like her daughter, uh, she was in her 70s or 80s when she. Yeah. Changed. Got changed. But I mean, you got to think, man. It's like she's a woman, she's a vampire. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that whole hierarchy of things and like her just, her just working her way up and whatnot to finally have the power that she has. So, yeah. You know, it was just that. But yeah, again, like I said, man, all of the fights in this movie were awesome. The dialogue yeah. I really enjoyed. And um, yeah, I really hope that it gets people. But I mean, bro, I feel like because we've done two reviews tonight and I, I feel like everything that we watch has been on Netflix. So it's just, you just never know. You yeah, never know. For sure. But, um, um, but yeah, yeah I mean, those, those were my final thoughts. I give the movie. I think I gave it a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. It's, it's okay. one of those. But uh, what about okay. you, dude? Final thoughts? Um, and what's your rating? I'm gonna give it a little love too. I'm gonna ride. It. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of ten. I like the soundtrack. Huge fan too. Don't want to forget about this, but um, they had a lot of contortionists in this movie for the fight scenes, like for the vampires doing weird stuff with their body. And I thought that was very clever. Yeah. Good usage of um a very cool talent. Um, like the characters a lot. The villain, like you stated, she was pretty cool. And she had a reason, you know, monsters are born. They're created. They're created. She was already a monster, though. Well, <laughs> well, she wouldn't have came after his family. It got a little bit worse. I think she was just a villain. But I yeah. think that there's a thin line between villain and monster. Because... Well, I mean, and, and see, that's another thing. Because remember, they was talking about another vampire that used to run the valley. And yeah. like they, they, he was just waiting for that moment to come back. So, I mean, there's still that, too. I, uh, good I wanna, point. I want to piggyback off of what you were saying about the soundtrack. I love that the soundtrack, it was just only California hip-hop. You know, it wasn't uh-huh. anything from anywhere else. It was just straight California. And I, I really love that. You know, yeah, I mean, really good movie. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Let us know what your rating is. D, let them know where they can find you at in social media land. As always, you can find me at rebellious double underscore D23 at Instagram dot com and banks. Whether it's day, night, they need a hero. Where can they find one? Hey, you can find me your hero Benjamin Banks at King Benji underscore banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching this review. Make sure you check out the more reviews that we have here on the channel. As long as with uh, interviews, reaction videos, all that good stuff, our podcast, we have brand new episodes every Tuesday with the link down below in the description. And then the video of that interview is up here on YouTube on Friday. So with that being said, keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.